Hello YouTube, my name is Stephen and in this video I'm going to share with you 10 advanced English verbs to help take your English to a C1 or a C2 level. The first verb is to nibble. To nibble means to eat in small bits. For example, the kangaroo nibbled the flower. The caterpillars nibbled the leaf. Number two is to cascade. Usually we use cascade for water and it means to fall or to pour. For example, the water cascaded over the rocks. Sometimes in novels an author will use the verb cascade to describe a woman who has attractive long hair. For example, her red hair cascaded over her shoulders. The next two verbs are homophones. This means they are spelled differently but they sound the same and they are saw and saw. First of all saw spelt s-a-w means to cut with a saw. This is a saw. For example he sawed the log. However saw spelled s-o-a-r means to fly high above somewhere. For example, the birds soared above the countryside. Verb number five is sniff, and this means to inhale through the nose to smell. And we do this on purpose. For example, I walk into a room and I can smell something, so I do this. I sniff. The two dogs sniffed each other in the street. Verb number six is to sway. This means to move gently from side to side. For example, the corn swayed gently in the breeze. The next verb is to stroll and to stroll means to walk slowly at a leisurely pace. For example, they strolled through the city. In the UK we call this a pushchair but in the USA they call it a stroller. Number eight and did you know that water can be a verb and it means to provide plants with water. For example, yesterday I watered my plants. Number nine is the verb to challenge and this means to invite someone to a contest. For example, he challenged me to a game of chess. And finally we have the verb to peck. Here we have a picture of a bird and this is its beak. The verb to peck means when a bird strikes something with its beak. For example, the chickens were pecking the ground. Now I'm going to show you a fantastic way to remember these 10 advanced verbs. On screen you will see we have the 10 verbs and what we're going to do is we're going to, or I'm going to, write a short story using each of these verbs. And this will help me to learn the verbs in context. I can always come back and reread the story and hopefully this will make me remember what each of the verbs mean. So let's begin. Yesterday, I was strolling through my neighborhood. So I'm going to now highlight stroll. Yesterday I was strolling through my neighborhood when suddenly I remembered that my grandmother was on holiday and I had promised to water her plants. So let's highlight water. I rushed to her house and when I entered I was shocked. Exclamation mark. Water was cascading from her kitchen sink and onto the floor. 
So now we've used cascade. She must have forgotten to turn off the tap. Next, I began to sway. So we'll get rid of sway. And almost passed out. I sniffed the air and realized there was a gas leak. So we've now got sniff as well. I ran to, to the window and opened it. Just then, her parrot, Jim, landed on my shoulder and pecked me and pecked my ear. So we've used peck. Before I could grab him, he flew out the window and soared up into the sky. So now we've used sword. I cried out in horror. I was so upset. My brother had challenged me to to a game of chess later that day. So we've got rid of challenge. But now I would be late and I had lost my grandmother's beloved bird. Just at that moment, he flew back in the window and went into his cage where he nibbled, not bibbled, nibbled his seeds. So now we've used nibble. So let's take a look at what we've got so far. We're only missing saw. Yesterday I was strolling through my neighborhood when suddenly I remembered that my grandmother was on holiday and I had promised to water her plants. I rushed to her house and when I entered I was shocked. Water was cascading from her kitchen sink and onto the floor. She must have forgotten to turn off the tap. Next, I began to sway and almost passed out. I sniffed the air and realised there was a gas leak. I ran to the window and opened it. Just then, her parrot, Jim, landed on my shoulder and pecked my ear. Before I could grab him, he flew out of the window and soared up into the sky. I cried out in horror. I was so upset. My brother had challenged me to a game of chess later that day, but now I would be late and I had lost my grandmother's beloved bird. Just at that moment, he flew back in the window and went into his cage where he nibbled his seeds. I'm gonna add in, so we've used all of these words. The only one that we have not used is to saw, which is to cut something with a saw. Um, yesterday, after sawing some wood, for the fire. So there we are. We've used all of those 
verbs. With this story, I now have a fantastic resource because I can come back in a few weeks or a month and I can read this story and see, can I remember the original meaning of these verbs? It's also going to help with my active vocabulary because next time I am having a conversation, um, one of these verbs will automatically come to me and I'll be able to use it in context. So I highly recommend this method. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, I would love to hear any comments that you may have in the comments section. Please give the video a like, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.